That Republican relief package would also make grant money available to businesses that work closely with farmers, such as the Westby Co-op Creamery. News 19's Lindsay Ford takes us to Westby for details on what Assembly Republicans plan to do to help Wisconsin farmers and the businesses that rely on them. Yeah, we can't do a lot, but we can try to do a little. Representative Lauren Oldenburg of the 96th Assembly District says Wisconsin has a little over $800 million in excess revenue, and tapping into that could be an option to help farmers. Representative Tony Kurtz of the 50th Assembly District spoke about the importance of boosting exports and strong trade deals with places like Canada, Mexico, China, Japan, and South Korea. My point is we've taken some of those bills, some of the ideas the governor has, and we're going to build on them. Just like, you know, Representative Oldenburg said, you know, it's going to be big and bold. And I think our agriculture community needs that right now. We need something big and we need something bold to, to help short term, but long term. Oldenburg and Kurtz believe both Democrats and Republicans want to find a solution. And I'll be honest, but at the end of the day, I think we're going to get this done. I, I, I truly think between you know Republicans and Democrats, we realize the need that we got to we got to help our farmers. Tom Schwab, president of the board of directors at Westby Cooperative Creamery, says as a farmer and after hearing the proposals, he is hopeful for the future. It's a good start. For some farms, it, it may be too late, um, but uh, for others, it is a good start. Um, we appreciate the attention that agriculture, especially dairy, has been, been getting in the, in the news lately. For example, Schwab says one proposal would award grants to dairy processing plants like the Westby Co-op Creamery. He says that will also help farmers. Government assistance to improve the, the plant capacity and, and modernization helps the farmers through a better pay price. Farmers are, are resilient and, and any help is appreciated. In Westby, Lindsay Ford, WXOW News 19. The Republicans haven't said how much their package of proposals would cost, but they call it bigger and bolder than the governor's plan. And Evers' plan would cost $8.5 billion over two years, but it doesn't include a pair of tax breaks that Republicans are seeking.